Uh, yeah, can I go check on the, is the hangman outside the library? Yes, the van is still Can I go there. check on him? Can yes, I grab absolutely. him as he's about to leave and be like, no. <laughs> I'm just going outside. No, I'm just, just it's outside. buddy system from here on out. I'm okay, we almost right lost outside, um, the van. You see Rog looks at you, Kristen, and says, I got him. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Um, uh, Rog goes out with you to check up on the hangman. <laughs> um, cool. You go outside and check up on the hangman. What do you do uh, uh, to sort of check on it? Can I get, I don't know what a mechanics check is, but can I see how badly I've damaged it? Uh, this isn't gonna be an untrained uh, intelligence check. Great, I love that. Uh, it's a nat one. <laughs> what? Oh, get Lord, these dice. Bro. My Lord. Brennan's gonna have to do backflips to keep this thing alive. <laughs> uh, the hangman is fully gone. But on that one, it's uh, it's full. It's it's destroyed. The sword went directly through it. Um, the motorcycle is broken. Um, Rog, uh, as you go to investigate, you fumble through, and a, just a big chunk of the engine block falls out. And Rog goes, "Oh, man, that's probably you. Can probably fix that. I probably can, Rog. I can probably fix that." <laughs> I know I can. Do you want to get under some blankets, man? You're sweating so much. I just, I think I have pneumonia. I'm not used to being sick. I'm so rich. I don't normally get normal sickness. Yeah, like poor people sick. Yeah, yeah I get like rich people sick. Like I eat too much caviar, <laughs> or like I smoke, you know, I smoke a cigar for too long. I don't get, I don't get like poor normal sick. I wouldn't know anything about it. <laughs> See, I was, hey man, hey, dude, there you go, dude. Just get it out. Just fuck, boot and rally, dude. You good, man? Just <laughs> okay. Well, um, hey, Rock. Yeah. Yeah, I don't feel good. I just don't feel good. I hear you, man. I think uh, you know. I am, you know, I have one emotion that I use to process stuff, and that's rage. And uh, I don't know how to be angry if my mom is dead a full continent away. You're going through some stuff with your dad. We've full stop. You know, dude, we are some dudes who, for real, have not processed. And honestly, you know, when I think about what I would have to do you know, I get pissed, you know? Cause it's like, I just made it here to where I'm like comfortable in my own skin. You know what I mean? And then something bad happens on top of that. And it's like, hey, is this bad enough that I'm gonna lose like, all the progress I made? You know what I mean? And I'm like, I have got to kill something, you know? Yeah. So, you know, growl. Growl. Yeah. Yeah. You want to sit in the back of the van? Just, just sit. Yeah. Uh, you see, he covers you with some blankets in the back of the van. Um, uh, Cathilda comes in a moment later as the two of you are sitting in the back of the van. Uh, Rog is just dead eyed, thousand yard stare. Um, Cathilda comes in with food for you, but with some piping hot soup. Um, she sits next to you and she says, Well, Master Fabian, have you taken a look at your motorcycle? Is it, uh, it's not looking too good, is it? It's looking really bad, Cathilda. It's like, I like, did a great job in, in, a, in doing a bad thing. I like, really stabbed it well in a moment where I wish I hadn't done a good job. Mm. Oh, Master Fabian, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's been a hard day. Well, here's the truth. Hard days come and they go, and as impossible as it might seem right now, you'll take one step and then the other, and it'll be hard as can be, and step by step you'll move further and further away from this bad day, all right? But to what, Kvilda? To what, to just a bunch of, I don't know, maybe I'll just be eating banana yogurt in a mansion filled with mementos to a life that wasn't mine. She looks at you and says, there's no pirate who can see the horizon in a squall. That doesn't mean it's not there. 
and she starts to rub little circles on your shoulder. Um, and she starts to sing a little song in Halfling um, that uh, you recognize. Um, there's a little song in Halfling that you remember. Uh, she used to sing it to you. She hasn't sung it to you in years, but she used to sing it to you all the time when you were very little um, and your dad would be like gone for long periods of time. Uh, and your mom was sort of like on a long bender. And there'd be times when you were back at like Castle Bonois on the, on the open seas. Uh, and it's just a light little halfling tune. Uh, and you have tons of memories of like skinning your knee or falling on, on a ship deck or something like that. And her finding you and like making you well. And you remember the hundreds of times that Cathilda has done this for you. Although it maybe hasn't happened in like years at this point. Um, you, uh, watch as she, like, you know, uh, trails off and, um, at a, after a certain point, mm -hmm. you can feel a little bit, uh, your, um, shoulders start to relax 